All right, here we are. It's the evening. I can finally check my dollies. Uh, I will get her out of the box and we will also check Ray. And I'm gonna start with the BMR because yeah, I've been waiting for a long time to get her and I'm honestly very happy <laughs> about the box as weird as that might uh, sound. Let me just, there we go, move this little light out of the way. Uh, I keep my dog clothing uh, in these boxes. I really like also the art and honestly I like the art. My cat is very opinion opinionated today so you might hear her. Uh, I like the clothing more on the box but yeah let's take a look at this Kira I did put a raised backpack and lightsaber here with the Kira so I don't lose them and let me get the cardboard I leave the paper in there because it's nice and yeah I will fill it with some clothing they stack very nicely these boxes I do like her orange background I think it's strange orange with purple but still it's pretty and uh, you will see if you think that she's like a clown uh, she has a lot of potential I just need to redress her and you will see how pretty she is. And I am sorry uh, if I sound rude. I do actually follow, uh, I think his name is Carwao Noero on Instagram. And I like his work, just not all of it. Uh, I love the BMR dolls because they were... Thanks to them we have the Barbie looks and Barbie looks is my favorite doll line. Before that my favorite doll line was Barbie BMR. Uh, and I am, I really like Carwell's uh, fashion sense when it comes to gowns. He makes this, these beautiful, very limited dolls that are in beautiful gowns usually and I adore those I like the characters that he comes up with I just don't like this specific style I don't know how should I call it is it like like street smart or I don't know it, it has a sporty vibe to it it's way way too colorful. I, if you have watched some of my videos, you know that I like colorful. I just don't like uh, color block type of situations for a lot of reasons, which aren't important reasons, but yeah. Uh, and this is how much it takes to get her out of the box. Uh, yeah, we have the certificate, which is just a piece of paper, but I'm a collector, so I keep them, you know, they're part of the collection. I have a box of certificates at this point. Uh, stand, which uh, I did complain about these stands, these stands, sorry, in the beginning, because I don't like the fact that this is not... You know, it's it's raised, the BMR is raised, but uh, they are good stands. Uh, I, I wasn't right about them. It is raised, sure, and uh, high-heeled dolls cannot really stand well on these stands, but uh, they are super sturdy stands. Um, compared to the white stands that the newest wave of Barbie looks... Actually, I have one reach there we go compared to these stands 
there is no one on the stand and the stand is already leaning yeah these ones are very very good stands very sturdy and strong just which is uh yeah it's good now uh about this doll we need to cut a few kajinkers uh excuse the barking dogs i don't feel like waiting for them to stop barking tonight i just want to get the dolls out uh there i think we are done with the kajinkers except for the ones on the head but let me get the flashlight on there we go now you can see her face better i just wanted to show you the hat on because one because once i cut it I don't think that I'm going to use it again, if it was like a cloth hat, sure, but I don't know. This style of hat to me doesn't translate well uh, to plastic. I really love hats and if it was fabric hat, I would have loved it. I understand why they did it, but you know, it's cheaper. Uh, there we go, I removed the hat. She has a very pretty face. I really love the purple lip. A lot of people don't, but I do. Uh, I love the, the makeup on these dolls. And what I don't like about her is the way that the hair is rooted. And um, it's kind of typical for the Kira face mold, which I think this is the Kira face mold. They don't do um sides is it sideburns you know the little triangle of hair that uh, frames your face here they tend to not do it well they do it on newer versions of her but on classic versions of her they don't which is a choice i guess uh maybe you know they did it um to honor the the face mold because it's uh, one of the OG classic Barbie face molds used in a modern way. But anyways, she her hair is solid, so I'm going to have to wash it, and I wanna let it down. Also, um, I might just uh, send her to my friend to reroot her with some. You know, longer hair in a month where I haven't spent crazy amount of money for new dolls. You know, I can <laughs> uh, spend money on new hair for her, but that's gonna be in the distant future. She comes with this very nice removable green hoops. I really like them. It's one of my favorite pieces about her. Uh, then my favorite piece, hands down is this jacket just thank you for doing barbies with jackets i love this jacket i one of the biggest reasons i wanted her is just to have this jacket you know i like the doll too but you know i couldn't wait to have the jacket and to mix and match it with other things because yeah it's a very very nice jacket it's not like overly complicated Yes, we have the BMRs, which I don't like the of the stamping with the letters. A lot of people don't, but I don't know. On this jacket, I can kind of ignore it. It's it's okay. It looks really really good on this jacket. Uh, then we have the dress. I like the dress on the concept art here on the sketch of the box my throat isn't agreeing with how much i talk but i'm not asking it i want to talk <laughs> but yeah sorry <clears throat> if my voice is a little weird i my throat hurts it's not nothing serious but yeah uh anyways i was talking about the dress i like it on the concept art but but I don't know, it's it's a strange piece. Actually, without the jacket, it's better. I told her to go to bed.
And she actually did. She listened to me. She was walking around and yelling while I was talking. And she actually went to bed. How cool is that? Anyways, we were talking about dolls <laughs> and about this doll and about the dress that I actually... Well, I don't love it, but I don't actually hate it uh, without the jacket. I don't know, the jacket was too much. It is very well made. Like, it has all the detail. Honestly, if it was uh, like a jumpsuit, you know, this was just pants. I would have loved it. And a part of me wants to cut this here and to just stitch like leggings. Like one piece tracksuit. <laughs> Is that a thing? I might invent it. She has painted nails, which is pretty cute. And yeah, she she's very nice. I am I also I forgot to mention the shoes. There we go. I like the shoes a lot. They're versatile. Interesting. This is hollow, but it doesn't matter. It's a very versatile piece. I like them a lot. And, you know, if they were just white sneakers that we already had, I would have been kind of mad, disappointed. But because... It's a new mold. I'm fine with it. It is uh, versatile. I can use it with a lot of other things. And honestly, uh, whatever color shoes other than white with this very colorful outfit, it just wouldn't have looked good. Uh, there we go. Who knows, maybe one day I will just turn this into one piece tracksuit. And be the slavest slav. <laughs> if you don't know, uh, Bulgarian is uh, Slavic language, and this is why I'm joking with the slav memes. Sorry, I hate when they put these things on the knees. Now, let's check the articulation. Not that I'm going to uh, return it or anything. Uh, it was sold to me. Uh, by a lady from who I have bought a lot of dolls and opened them. Basically, they were unboxed, but I did reviews because uh, they keep their dolls very nice. I think she buys them for her child, but the child is just, I'm amazed, very civilized. <laughs> Children are usually... <laughs> little beasts but this one isn't this one actually i guess really appreciates their toys yeah uh, very well articulated and this was just brand new i guess they never got it out of the box uh we have a few spots here but that's absolutely fine and hmm, i wanna wash the hair and let it down okay be right back. I guess she wasn't meant for her hair to be down because this is very sparse rooting for Saran. The hair is Saran and yeah, usually Saran has a lot of uh, holes with little bits of hair, very thin strands of hair. And um, yeah, this is this is not how this is rooted. They didn't root it so I can let it down. Which is not ideal because I want to let it down. I actually like this length of hair. I will still wash it and see um, if it will look good. I haven't seen anyone mention this on, on the reviews but... Honestly, I don't know if I have seen reviews where they let the hair down. But I've seen her on Instagram and no one said anything about the amount of hair. I really liked her eyes, the way that the eyes are painted. I haven't seen a Barbie with such a good screening in a while. Usually I just find something off about the faces. But no, no, this, this is a perfect face. I love it. 
Okay, I washed her and I redressed her. Um, I know I'm aware that I have a very basic taste. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but I like her more this way. Let me just give her back her earrings. Uh, her hair is still very wet, but I'm not mad about it. Uh, it is too sparsely rooted, but she has such a beautiful face that, I don't know, I feel like uh, having little hair actually is good because you can actually enjoy her face and yeah, uh, I knew she had a lot of potential, but I didn't know she was this pretty. Just, she's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, my outfit is basic, but I think it's cute. Uh, my opinion is uh, this type of boots, kind of workers' boots, go with uh, any outfit and <laughs> you can't change my mind. Like, that's my go-to for everything. I did bring my other Kira, who is still in Christmas outfit. Um, <laughs> I will uh, redress her, but uh, there she is. She's a fashionista. Let's put them side by side. They do look very different. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, this is what I meant. Modern Barbies have this little peak here while they used to uh, do the hair like that without that little thing uh, which should, I think should be there but you know it's not the end of the world it's, it's okay this is going to be it for this video let's keep it short and sweet uh, I do have most of the BMRs and uh, basically I don't have Mr. Fabulous I had him twice but I bought him as a donor and I still keep the heads and I want to find a body for them but uh, yeah I, I don't have him as himself and I really want to have him as himself but I had these two cans who I, I had for a long time and I really loved and when I assumed that they were gonna fit, I did head swap him, so I don't have him as himself. I don't have the curvy dark girl and the tall pale Asian girl. All the others I have, and I have videos uh, of them being unboxed here on the channel, so you can click that and check it out. And I guess I'll see you on my next video and in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you have, thank you very much. And yeah, come back with another or two for another video. And I'll see you then. Bye!